When I go on my walks at night, I notice people decorated for Halloween. It's beginning of October and Halloween coming on October 31st. Those beautiful Halloween decorations in our neighborhood. Here I'm looking through Stella's pictures that were taken by professional photographer at her gym. And we have to pick some pictures to purchase. They're quite expensive. They were three different poses. So I'm planning to pick a package with some prints and digital photos. I go for my hair uh, roots highlight uh, highlights every two to three months but because I'm going on a little getaway on October 18th with my husband I decided to do it two weeks before the getaway so my hair looks nice and blonde again this lady has been doing my hair for 15 years her name is Kathy I really like her she can do my hair with her eyes closed and she charges me a very good price so I keep going to her for the last 15 years. She does a really good job. Do I need to buy purple shampoo? Because I don't have one. No, it's only after the treatment. It happens sometimes. Ah, uh, once in a while, okay. Wow, I like purple shampoo. I have to come fix. Did you see any gray hair? What? What happened? I went to the salon. How Got my blonde back. Yeah, how pretty is that? Pretty blonde. Please watch my last live stream with the closet clean. And here is my beautiful kid in her new clothes. Laying down in bed Sunday morning, I decided to sleep in. My kids are so independent. Uh, their friend picked them up and they went to church for the early morning service. It's raining outside, so I'm relaxed and wanted to sleep in. The door is opening and here comes my knight in the shining armors. And bringing me roses, bring me flowers. I love him. I'll keep him. He's such a good guy. He brought me roses on the Sunday morning. He does that. Happy wife, happy life. Rose of pastel. Roses in bed. How cute is that? Okay, we're getting ready for Hurricane Milton coming on Wednesday. So this is a big line at Costco to buy gas tanks for the grills. And this is a huge line to get gas in Costco. Oh my gosh, never a dull moment, guys. Never a dull moment here in Florida. But we pray we're going to be safe. And it's just uh, ordinary preparation, nothing gonna be bad but the cost could guess line is through the roof okay, this is the panic no paper products and no water but San Pellegrino is on sale so we got San Pellegrino why not and this is the situation 
now local Costco before hurricane no regular water and no paper products wow out of stock toilet paper bottled water well we're gonna drink San Pellegrino instead of regular water regular water I guess we'll come back next week after the hurricane okay, mandarin oranges smoked salmon Apples, apples, tomatoes, this is for me, crab meat, salmon, and this is chicken breast, beets, I'm gonna make my beet salad, kuvnika salad, that's it, I wanna try this egg bites. They made egg whites, mushrooms, and avocado. And since we didn't have regular water, we had to take this low calorie body armor water. And this is Kalamata olive. Oh, I love Kalamata olives on my salad. And this is for my vinaigrette beet salad. So that's it. Of course, we got here and we got Vietnamese pork noodles and we got juice. Ah, that's for my crab legs. Mm -hmm. For the whole week. Okay. Okay. Hi guys, Sunday, October 5th, it's 9.44 p.m. here in Orlando area, Florida, and Hurricane Milton is coming to town on uh, Wednesday, October 8th. So I just got the message from my work that our university will be closed from Tuesday through Thursday. And we didn't get a message from school if the girls school will be closed so I was looking to, um, to get out of town because I kind of started to get panicky about this hurricane hitting us hard um, today we went to Costco we got food and I saw there were no um, paper products or bottled water we only got you know sparkling water but there was no regular spring water bottled water so people were getting gas and people were filling up gas tanks uh, for grills so propane I guess I should say propane tanks for the grills so I was looking uh, at airplane tickets to get out of uh, town maybe tomorrow night or Tuesday morning to go to Chicago to stay with my um, best friend and my kid's godmother or we might go to New York just for three or four days Zoe has work on Saturday and we don't know if school will be open on Friday after the hurricane because we didn't get any notice from school so it's hard to plan but I wish we could leave town on maybe Tuesday morning if we can find out what the schedule is and I can find tickets tomorrow or we can even leave tomorrow night well I want to get out because I feel panicky. My husband and my father will stay to take care of the house because my husband has a lot of work and if there is electricity and internet, he can still work from home. But since I don't have work, uh, what I'm going to do for three days, just sit around and listen to the rain and winds and be scared that the electricity going to go off and I'll, I'll stay here without AC or, you know, spoiled Americans are scared to be without electricity for a couple of days so here are my thoughts I want to go see the fall and take the girls away but we don't know um, 
like this week they don't have school on Thursday or Friday besides the hurricane. I were supposed to be teachers uh, organizing days or something. But it could be a makeup day because they already missed a day because of Hurricane Helene. Now Milton seems to go directly at us in Central Florida. So my point is as soon as we know tomorrow... I still work tomorrow, but I work from home. So as soon as we know tomorrow what the girls' schedule at school is, I'm going to probably book tickets to go to Chicago just get out of here. I did it a couple of years ago, maybe seven years ago when it was Irma. Yeah, Hurricane Irma. And we went to Chicago and spent a pretty good week there with my best friend. Um, but this time I'm kind of torn. We don't know yet. Whatever tickets I can find. If it's easier, we'll go to New York. If it's easier, we'll go to Chicago. But these are my, my options because I don't like hurricanes. Last time I didn't panic. Even my husband wasn't at home. I was alone with kids and my father. Uh, but I knew it wouldn't go directly at us. But this one, Milton, seems to go directly to Central Florida. So I'm like, ah. What are the chances we're going to get really bad weather and electricity going to go off? The chances are really high at this point. So I'll update you maybe tomorrow as soon as I know the school schedule. I'm still surprised they didn't send us any notice because my university already sent notice out to everybody. So people can plan accordingly that the university will be closed from Tuesday to Thursday. And I still can get a day off on Friday if I need to just to be away for the rest of the week thank you for watching that's my update i'm usually not as panicky no i am because it happened to me when i fled the town uh, to go to chicago so that's brilliant idea it doesn't leave me this time too okay i'll keep you updated maybe tomorrow as soon as i know girls schedule thank you for watching